it's a nice sunny morning at the Cozy Corner. It's also our last day at the Cozy Corner because tomorrow we are leaving and heading back to Chiang Mai via a little road trip. The Cozy Corner chapter of our life is finished. This is it. We've had some good memories here though, so I'm quite pleased. Despite how we felt when we first got here, it turns out that Bangkok is actually quite a good place to live, especially if you're into city life. The cost of living is actually really good. It wasn't that much more expensive than the north, as you know, because we made a video about it. We're pleased that we came here and we're pleased that we did our time in the city. Even though we knew, we always knew that we weren't city people, it was worth trying out. It was, and we found our place. We found our place. Sasha discovered last night that that coffee shop that was closed has now opened. So we are gonna go and get a coffee and see what it's like. It would have been really good if this coffee shop had opened a couple of months earlier, or even a couple of weeks earlier. But instead, our last day. <laughs> it feels a bit weird to think that tomorrow we are checking out of the apartment and that's it, we're down in Bangkok. After everything that we said at the start and everything we felt at the start, I feel like I've done a 360 and I've actually come to quite like being in Bangkok. So I've got a bit of a mixed feelings about leaving. I do feel a little bit sad and I never thought I would feel sad to leave Bangkok. <laughs> Like Jay said, we did actually end up enjoying it and we found some great places, some great coffee shops and restaurants and things to do and it just took a little bit of time to get used to it. But I'm glad we came here. Looks like Jay's got the coffees. He's talking to the owner of the art studio next to the apartment. <laughs> okay, so Jay got the coffees. There he is with coffees. And the owner of the art studio came and sat with us for a minute because he just found out what we do. <laughs> <laughs> and um, he wanted to know more about it. Anyway, he now knows our channel and hopefully he'll check out our videos and see all the stuff that we filmed <laughs> while we were here. <laughs> right, back in the room. We haven't had breakfast yet, so I'm gonna make breakfast. And we decided last night that we are gonna go to Louis. Louis. <laughs> Louis. 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 Yeah, <laughs> Louis. 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 We've been debating what, <laughs> how to say the province that we're going to tomorrow, which is in the Isan region. I thought it was Loi, and I looked done some research and couldn't find out, but then I spoke to that guy and he said it's Lui. So that is, I think, the perfect <laughs> pronunciation of where we're going tomorrow. After checking out of the apartment in the morning, or afternoon, tomorrow, we are heading back up to Chiang Mai, because we're dog-sitting Chloe again, but... We don't have to be there for five or six days, so we are working our way back up to Chiang Mai via said place. <laughs> and possibly a night somewhere else as well, but we haven't decided yet. But we only decided last night that we were gonna do that. So, quite exciting, because we haven't been there before. So, a new place for us. There was very little choice on the pet-friendly hotel front in Lui, so we decided to just go for what was there I'm not sure if it's going to be any good or not, but we have to take Eden with us. So hopefully it will be nice and relaxing and we'll be able to chill out for a few days and the room won't be terrible. But we'll show you and we'll add links if it's any good. We are at the Seikon Plaza doing some vitamin shopping. We feel like we need vitamins in our bodies. And we are also looking for some clothes. We need jeans for England because going back there in November it's going to be freezing. Definitely going to need some long trousers and don't have enough.
jeans are over there, Sash. This Super K store is always our go-to place. They seem to have some good stuff in here. The styles are quite nice. And it's never that expensive. Yeah. They have some unusual things. I think Jill would like that. <laughs> Sasha's friend Gillian would like this. If you're watching, what do you think? Green and woolly, that's all I need some point to know. Yeah? Okay, it was 2395 reduced to 479. It's about 9 British pounds. This store has a permanent sale on. It's always 80% or 70 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> no. No? Yeah, there you go. A really small head hole. <laughs> As I was saying, yeah, there's a permanent sale on, so those, those prices are always like that. This is good. Zebra sash. You like it? <laughs> I think you'll find though, if you're exceptionally large or tall, you'd struggle to find stuff in here because it is a Korean export store. Even the large sizes are small. We have left the shops. Didn't go quite to plan. Neither of us found any jeans or bottom covers <laughs> for England. But never mind, we've still got a few weeks to go. We did buy a couple of salads that we're going to eat when we get back to the apartment. We're going out for dinner tonight. But before that, we need a little something to keep us going. Looks like it rained quite heavily while we were in the shops. And I spoke too soon. It's literally just started raining again. Some time has passed and so is the storm, it looks like. But this is our last sunset on the balcony at the cosy corner, unless we decide to come back one day. So I thought I'd come out and have a look. Tonight we are going to Pepina, which is meant to be Bangkok's best pizza restaurant for a reason. They're the only place in the whole of Thailand that make real Italian pizzas to the Neapolitan standard. So we thought we can't leave Bangkok without trying that out because we're pizza lovers. Ready to go to Pepina and yes. get some real Neapolitan pizza? I am. Yeah. I look forward to it. The pictures look really good, reviews look really good. So let's see if it is really good. <laughs> bye bye son. One final picture. Okay, we're finally on the right path. We got off at Prompong Station and took the wrong turn and have been walking for far too long. We're finally going the right way. A couple more minutes and we'll be at Pepina, hopefully. We're here. Pizza time, Sash, we found it. Yay. Only took 35 minutes to walk from the station. <laughs> Let's go in. drinks and we are ready for pizza after that long walk. Check out that pizza. Now that looks authentic. Sasha got a quattro formaggi with walnuts and green apple. We got a marinara to share. 
a margarita. Oh, I'm going to enjoy this. We got this on the side because I've heard that the dough and the sauce are the best and that is all that is, just dough and sauce. So it had to be got. Apparently this oven was built in the town where pizza was first ever made, imported and brought to Thailand. So it's got to be special. I think that means he likes it. <laughs> and that doesn't even have cheese on it. What do you think? We wanted to treat ourselves on our last night and all that amazing pizza came to 1,283 baht. <laughs> it's cool from the outside. <laughs> so, what do you think, Sash? It was beautiful. Absolutely delicious. Let's go for a walk. Absolutely fantastic pizza. Can't deny it. That's why we got three. Yeah, we got three. <laughs> <laughs> but if you're going to go there on a Friday like that we did, book a table in advance. We got lucky because there's only two of us. We managed to find a little seat between seats, but <laughs> otherwise they would have said, sorry, yeah. wait for ages or come back another day. So if you're looking for a genuine, authentic Italian <laughs> pizza experience, but in Thailand, this is the only place you're going to get it, I think. You need to go to Pepina. Pepina rules. It is really, really nice. We're going to end the vlog here because tomorrow we are driving for many hours to get to Lui. <laughs> Lui. <laughs> I've got it down. <laughs> so join us on that journey. New place for us, new place for you maybe. Yeah. Hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed our time in Bangkok. Yeah. We ended up liking it here quite a bit. Yeah, we did. Mm. I surprised myself at how much I liked it in the end. Yes. It's been good to us. <laughs> <laughs> you can support our channel via Patreon. Check the links below. And we will see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Walking down Silken Bit Road. Let's see if we can go and get a coffee. Cut off my song. Oh. <laughs> yeah, right, let's have a look. Maybe the coffee club is nearby. Yeah. Didn't we come down there? That way. Oh, yeah, we did. Careful, don't get crushed. <laughs>